When gigantic primordial beasts like Godzilla and King Kong emerge from the depths of the ocean to the mists of Skull Island, they cause incredible amounts of destruction. And as an audience member, I can't help but lose my damn mind and applaud these mammoth monsters destroying everything we hold dear. But not every movie monster is created equal, and some have managed to rise to the top, while others have been relegated to the dustbin of history. So on today's episode of The Dan Cave, which is brought to you by Kong Skull Island, coming to theaters on March 10th, and features what's arguably the greatest movie monster of all time, King Kong, we're celebrating the lesser known movie monsters, those colossal creatures that lack the longevity of their cooler colleagues. Gapa. Marketed as even mightier than King Kong, Gapa the Colossal Beast is what it would look like if Godzilla had a birth defect. The Triphibian Monster, whatever the heck that means, is like a chimera of a fish, a bird, and a lizard. Now, to be fair, the film was meant as a parody of the kaiju genre, with a plot revolving around Papa Gapa and Mama Gapa trying to find their lost baby Gapa and destroying Tokyo in the process. The true moral of the story is, don't live in Tokyo! The God Monster of Indian Flats. Did you ever put on an itchy sweater and think to yourself, God, what monster made this garment? No? Well, the intrepid filmmakers behind 1973's The God Monster of Indian Flats sure did, so they made a movie about a sheep that turns into an eight foot tall murder monster after huffing fumes from a nearby mine. Is it scary? No. Is it a worthy match for Kong? No. Does it even really belong in this episode? Probably not, but it's honestly worth it to show this ridiculous footage to internet strangers. <laughs> Conga! What if King Kong was categorically worse, took place in London, and revolved around a scorned botanist who brought a chimp back from the dead with a special serum that made it grow to gigantic sizes, then sent the chimp to murder his scientific rivals in London? You know, that old chestnut, that old, who cares? Well, then you'd get Conga, the rampaging ape at the center of the 1961 film of the same name. One poster read, Not since King Kong has the screen exploded with such mighty fury and spectacle. But I suspect that it was referring to angry theater goers throwing their shoes and sodas at the screen rather than anything that actually happened in that godforsaken movie. Pulgasari. Between blowing their intercontinental ballistic load and occasionally making Dennis Rodman relevant again, North Korea is always up to something weird. In 1985, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-il was up to something even weirder. He had two of South Korea's most prominent filmmakers kidnapped and taken to North Korea where they were forced to make a kaiju film called Pulgasari about a giant metal-eating monster that helps a bunch of peasant farmers overthrow an evil ruler. It's kind of weird that when Pulgasari eats metal, he's hailed as this conquering hero, but when I eat metal, I have to go to urgent care. Weird, just saying, man. Attacking Primate Monster. That's the name for the mean monkey at the heart of 1976's Ape, spelled like the movie MASH for some reason. It's a film so crappy that it's on the cover of the Razzie's Movie Guide. This 36 foot tall primate isn't the poor man's Kong. He isn't even the rock bottom man's Kong. He's barely even the mole man's Kong. He's just a crappy monkey. Shot in 14 days with a budget of just $23,000, it was a cash grab meant to piggyback off Dino De Laurentiis' then upcoming King Kong film. Ape was so deeply unoriginal that they forced it to bear the tagline, not to be confused with King Kong. Now that's some serious monkey business, ooh. Frankenstein, <laughs> holy smokes. Where do we even begin with the kaiju version of Frankenstein? This monster, shut up, you get it. You know who I'm talking about. Basically, Frankenstein's heart gets taken by Nazi forces and brought to Japan during World War II, where it's then exposed to radiation from the atomic bomb blast in Hiroshima. 15 years later, that heart is put into the chest of a vagrant child by a couple of country doctors, and that child begins to grow to astronomical proportions. You know what follows. You get a 200-ton bastard child of Bruce Lee, Louis Guzman, and Gilbert Gottfried, which, unfortunately, is very different than Kyle Hill's fan fiction would lead you to believe. Kyle, stop writing this, please. Japanese King Kong. In the legendary words of Omar from The Wire, if you come at the king, you best not miss and the filmmakers behind Wase Kinku Kongu definitely missed. In 1933, a Japanese film company made their own version of King Kong, entitled King Kong Appears in Edo, without the express permissions of RKO Pictures, who put up the original King Kong. This envisioned a version of King Kong that looked a lot more like that beef jerky Sasquatch than the eighth wonder of the world. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, all that exists of the film today is a single still. The film itself was mysteriously destroyed during World War II. But hey, 
If they can find all those copies of E.T. in the landfills in New Mexico, fingers crossed that someone in the countryside of Japan finds an old film canister in the near future. Or, you know, just watch literally anything else. I mean, anything. Name a movie. Watch it. Watch that instead. And those are just a few of the movie monsters that time forgot. Which is probably for the best because there's plenty of cooler movie monsters coming your way in Kong Skull Island, so you're definitely gonna need the brain space to process those. But tell me, which is your favorite? What would you add to this list? Let me know in the comments below and give me a monstrous thumbs up while you're there. Be sure to like and subscribe or else you might miss next week's show about the story of a character actor who gets trapped inside a dog's body then is endlessly resurrected as other dogs till he can teach a troubled musician how to defeat Morris Day in the Time in a dog's purple rain. Until next time, keep on digging. Special thanks to Kong Skull Island for sponsoring today's episode. In addition to King Kong himself, there's a host of memorable monsters including skull crawlers, mother long legs, spore mantises, psycho vultures, and many more. You can experience the mystery and danger of the primordial island Kong calls home when Kong Skull Island hits theaters on March 10th, 2017. Let's open up the old mailbag, shall we? At Psy underscore file asks, Dan, please stop having people tweet me dumb hashtags. It's getting out of hand. Well, first of all, Kyle, that's not a question. Second of all, I can't stop. I won't stop. Also, please tweet at Psy underscore file, hashtag butt facts. He'll tell you anything you want to know about a butt. Anything in the world you want to know. He's a science man. He knows everything there is. But tell me, what hashtag would you tweet Kyle Hill? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>